I finally bought flooring for the van. I know, gasp. Can't believe it, it's incredible, life-changing. I'm gonna put this underlayment down for the heated flooring. Who knows if I'll actually connect that to anything, but it will be in the van, so. I'm gonna put that down literally just in this immediate area. And so I'm not gonna run all this all the way through. I think I will run the flooring all the way through, but I'm not doing the underlayment all the way. But I'll show you the wood flooring I got. It's really cool. Well, it's wood. It's like vinyl flooring and it's waterproof and uh, it's like a barnwood style. And it was 50 bucks for two boxes. So I'm uh, saving money there. It's not a nice warm color that I wanted, but I think it'll still be pretty. The old cut. Oh man, it's actually gonna fit in here fucking perfectly. Unbelievable. I'm not gonna plan this. Well, we gotta trim it a little bit, but not much. That's what these dotted lines are for. That's our floor. One of the $25 boxes. Waterproof. And it's good for heat and cold. Pretty nice color. Let me try it out. There's the heated floor. I already cut the edge. And uh, we're just going to cover it up. And, you know, maybe someday I'll hook it up. Hey, babe. <laughs> babe. What? what you got? just destroys everything all the time. She's in this phase where she's not really having accidents in the house, but what she's doing is chewing everything all the time. So it's giving me a great deal amount of stress um, as far as wires in the van and things in the van. So over here, I wanna do some staining and a bunch of other things. I don't know if I'm gonna talk a whole lot, but I'll show you what I'm doing.
So <laughs> we started throwing a, an, a check engine light code or a service engine soon. It's the polite way that GMC puts it. Um, so when we got it checked out, it was, what was the error code? P0101, which and, is a mass airflow sensor. Yeah. So the guy that we talked to said that we can try cleaning the sensor to see if it would go away. And so we're gonna do that today. And that's the stuff. Yep. Yep. Is it working? I think so. Where is it? Right here, this whole housing, that is the mass airflow sensor. So this is the computer that tells your vehicle how much fuel to distribute, if you will, when you're compressing the gas. So if your car ever like stutters and like goes blah, 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 like this is usually your problem. And it's a simple thing. So this is your air housing. This has got to come off. He's already undone. So we got to take this clamp off, this clamp off, pull this out, disconnect this from the battery that you're, you know, linking to the computer, and then spray it with this fun stuff. And uh, everything should be uh, hunky dory after that. So, let me get this whole jigger to come out. It's never easy, obviously. Pop out, pop out. I gotta get this whole unit off. Anything I can do to help? Ugh. Yeah, remember how it goes back together? <laughs> That's why we're taking videos, <laughs> folks. <laughs> He's gotta break that seal. Quick unrelated note, we do have four dogs in the house currently. <laughs> We're do. doing a favor for a friend who's having some issues with housing in the Saranac Lake area, as a lot of people in this area know. Yes. We, there is no housing for anybody, let alone anybody with dogs, so. Okay, so this is your entire air filter housing with everything in there, filters in there. Don't need this at the moment. Trash. Trash. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Nobody needs that. So right here, friend, that is your mass airflow sensor. Really? So that screen, and inside of that screen, which I'll pull out in a second, has three metal rings, not rings, uh, rods on it that get caked with shite. So we're gonna clean that. Yeah. This is the, this is the whole unit. Once it comes out of here. get it out of here it's fine it's just this but this should be the band clamp should be loose enough that one time that band clamp <laughs> i was thinking the same thing <laughs> come on buddy you can do it so see this arrow mm -hmm. that's airflow direction you're so close there we go so those are the bars. They, they need... look fine. <laughs> no, actually they're pretty dirty. So the, like, ready? See that? Mm. That's gross. So we're gonna spray the shite out of this thing. And uh, that's it. Look, even that. What do the directions say? Spray it. <laughs> Science. No, it's a uh, liberal. You, we get, we're gonna spray quite a bit on both sides and get all that dirt out of there and then you gotta let it dry at least a half an hour more the merrier honestly um, it just cannot be wet when you plug it back into this look at all that crap it's, it's 10 bucks for this can it's starting to feel really nice though it is so i need to get back on my tan i'm wearing too much <laughs> you gotta get back on your tan oh yeah yeah my favorite thing to do is to spend no time at work at all and then get told how tan I am. That's my favorite thing. That's it. 
should be clean. So I'm just gonna let her hang out. Give it about a half an hour, put it back in. Okay. That's it. Hi. We have <laughs> put the thing back in, so I don't have the keys to start it, do you? I thought they were in the van. So we finally got ourselves an awning. It's from All Top. Uh, I'll link it below, and then here's a picture of it. Um, and so it's pretty simple. All, I, all I'm gonna do is is drill it into the side rails of the roof rack, and then bolt it on and slide it on in these rungs, and it'll be installed. So it should really only take like 20 minutes. So let's do it. exciting. This went on really nice, nicely. Are they Loctites? <laughs> I got it all tightened up up there. Jason's blaring his music per usual. Next thing we have to do is just line up the holes with the bolts on the thing, and then we're gonna lock tight them up. That's our awning. That is fucking fantastic. Fantastic. I love it.